All right, guys, so I got a little update for y'all. Um, I've been, like I told y'all, I wanted to try to get that Roland BN20. Um, it looks like I might be able to make that happen. Uh, I, I approved for some financing. I kind of wanted to take y'all through this as part of like the learning experience so y'all can know how all this works. So um, I reached out to Coldesi and um, there's someone there, a sales representative who told me basically uh, how to how to apply for the financing through a third party company that they work with. Um, I went ahead and uh, she gave me a list of like basically what all I needed to have in order to get ready to, for that, to apply for it. And then she gave me a link to apply for it. I applied through a, basically it was like an online, um, just a, a portal or something. It was like a link or an app that you can fill out online and then submit it. And then you find out pretty much immediately, but I was trying to do it at my other job while I was walking around using my cell phone. And I think that it messed up a couple times and then I had to kind of like try to basically refresh the page and redo it again. And when I did, I think I selected the wrong option. Um, basically a technicality and it ended up declining me because of that. And then, so, uh, I tried, I figured out what I did wrong, but then they said that I couldn't reapply for another 30 days. Um, so, I mean, everything, all my credit, uh, score and, and, you know, income and all that shows that I should have been able to get approved for it, but it declined me on that one. So I went ahead and tried with another company, you know, after I got declined, uh, Cold Essie reached back out to me and said, Hey, there's this other company that we use that they've been able to get some of our people financed also. And so, um, and also when this happened, basically the finance companies in contact with Cold Desi and they let them know immediately if I got approved or declined. And then, so they reached back out to me. Um, it's, it's a real cool process cause they don't let you just sit there wondering what's going on. They just give you a call. And then, um, so I went ahead and applied for the other company with the other finance company. And then they ended up getting me approved. It took like 24 hours for that one to get back. It wasn't an instant approval at all. And um, so I got real nervous about it. And then the next day I got a an email you know, or a text message or something back from them saying that I've been approved. And then they reached back out to me again later, let me know all the, con all the conditions of the loan and all that. And so um, basically it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, there is like a finance charge in there, but they don't, um, it's not a normal, like instant, instant, uh, sorry, in interest rate finance charge where it can, you know, basically it's more money as you pay, if you pay it off later. Um, it's just a set amount of money. So if you pay it off later, you pay it off right away. It's all the same amount for the finance charge. <coughs> And then, you know, some of the stuff I don't fully know all about, but basically uh, it, you know, this one you're applying through your own personal credit, but then once you establish this credit with them from now on, whenever you apply for any sort of, uh, uh, you know, financing for equipment in the future, and that's what they specialize in is business equipment. Um, they just go ahead and uh, run it through your business account instead of your personal. So it doesn't impact your, you know, your personal credit ends up running off your business credit and that ends up being uh, beneficial for you. And then, um, also something about, oh, I, I don't know. I wrote down the note somewhere and I don't have it right now, but it's called, a. Uh, it's like falls under section something, something. And they say, basically you can, uh, you can write off or, you know, do a deduction for the amount of the loan and all the, the interest and the payments and everything that you make on the loan is deductible from your, you can do a, a basically a deduction from your taxes on that. So they said, you know, just make sure to submit all that through your, you know, accountant the proper way, your CPA or whatever. Um, so, you know, the, the charge, the, the amount that I'm going to be paying for it is a little bit more than what, you know, I, I am really comfortable at this point in time. I was hoping that the, the amount would be less, but, um, you know, I'm just going to go for it and I'm going to hope that I get more business that my business scales up and, you know, increases whenever I start learning how to use this printer.
Um, there's a lot of jobs I've been turning down because I don't have the proper equipment and uh, I don't want to take on jobs and do a subpar and then get bad reviews for it. So I'd rather just wait until I have the proper equipment and do it the, the, the proper way. So um, that's that. And um, I want to give y'all a little tour of the shop because I cleaned it up a little bit. It's nothing, nothing major, but I got a little bit nicer. So, um, you know, I just organized a little bit cleaned up some of the clutter and uh there's still some clutter plenty of clutter but i had an old refrigerator right over here i got rid of that refrigerator and this leaves room for my roland bn20a which is hopefully going to go right here um this is actually not wide enough for it the roland bn20 is wider than this i think right that right now this is 38 inches wide um that one is 40 inches wide so I'm hoping that the feet on it are a little bit more narrow so it still sits on here and if it doesn't I'm going to put another piece of plywood on it or something just to extend the width of it so that'll work and then uh you know I don't know that gives me some more space my son has his go-kart over here I'm thinking about getting rid of that just to make up some space we the neighborhood we live in right now I don't think they'd really like us ripping up and down the street on a gas with a gas powered um you know go kart but thinking about selling this and then maybe my son can put that money into something else that he can get that's a little bit more quiet and uh and then also you know i have my label printer or my thermal printer over here for my shipping labels i showed you all that before but anyways it's just a little bit more organized now that i got rid of the fridge it gives me more space to move around and then i cleaned up some of my uh clutter over here so anyways that's that and then something else um i guess it's crazy the way the world is now but you know i'm over here trying to get um a thousand subscribers so i can get monetized i want to be able to start trying to you know i'm being honest about all this want to make some money off the youtube channel to help try to supplement everything else um, in the process of me learning all this, I'm trying to share everything else with y'all. So for me, it's like a trade-off. It's a win-win, hopefully. Um, I'm putting in all this effort to make the videos to show y'all how to do stuff and sharing all the information with everybody else. You know, some people think it's crazy to share the information, but I'm hoping it'll be a payoff. You know, I'm hoping that I can get some subscribers and make a little bit of side money off the YouTube channel. Because, um, hey, everybody else is doing it, it's a ton of people are doing it, and why not? Because we're all doing this to help feed our families and, and live better lives, so why not? Um, I help, I appreciate any of y'all that are helping out with this. Um, so on that note, I had a shocking discovery um, this weekend. It just happened yesterday, actually. Uh, it's kind of crazy to me, but it's the world we live in nowadays. You never know who's living around you or you know what people do um but my son is just eight years old he's a little guy and he has a friend that he met that lives across the street um and it turns out that he's a huge youtuber and um i didn't really believe it when i first heard it and thought that they were joking around but apparently he's not he makes animations and he's 10 years old. I'm not gonna mention his name, his channel or anything like that because he, he doesn't want fame. He doesn't want any of that. He's doing it just because he likes to do it and it turned out to be pretty massive for him. So um, I don't talk to him about the money, but he's divulged information to my son and um, it's really crazy. It's really crazy. He's pretty much bigger as far as how much income he's making than any of the other YouTubers I watch. And, um, yeah, I mean, I looked at his numbers, his statistics, and it all adds up. I mean, his views, um, are more than any of the other YouTubers that I watch other than Mr. Beast. So there's a lot of YouTubers I watch that are able to buy you know exotic cars and big nice houses and everything with their their youtube revenue and uh this guy's got 
way more views on all of his videos than any of those people. Um, he doesn't have quite as many subscribers as some people, but I think the views is where it really adds up. And he does have well over a million subscribers. So it's pretty impressive. I'm just trying to get a thousand subscribers to get monetized. And the 10 year old across the street has well over a million subscribers. And he did say that the revenue he's making is well into the millions of dollars every year. And he's been doing this for several years now. So that's shocking to me. You know, it's somewhat inspirational. And it's crazy that, you know, it's someone that my son's hanging around with, but I think it's awesome because, you know, it's inspirational and hopefully it can teach him what you can really do when you, you know, are talented and you put your effort into something. Um, so I think that's cool. And, you know, he's real humble. He's uh, just a regular little kid and just plays around, spends the night here and it's crazy, but... Anyways, that's just a kind of shocking revelation that we found out about. And um, yeah, so I think it's cool and it's motivating and it just shows what's possible. And it kind of brings all the reality. It, it kind of brings all this to reality a little bit more to show what can really happen. So anyways, uh, yeah, so... <laughs> I guess I'm inspired now a little bit more than I was before, um, just because I see uh, with even more reality what can really happen. So anyways, um, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. And uh, please, yeah, keep, uh, keep looking out for my next videos because hopefully I'll have a rolling BN20 soon to be able to show you all how to do some stuff with and you know, um, I'm learning more stuff about the label printer also. I learned a lot of stuff about it. So I'm going to start doing some more tutorials about the label printer also. If any of y'all have that and are struggling with it. So, all right. Thanks for watching.